Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Today, I've got a new release. This is Sophia by Renee of Paris from the Alexander Couture collection. And mine is in, oops, mine is in a melted marshmallow. I like to thank Franny's hair for providing Sophia for me so I could review it for all of you. The link to Sophia will be listed down below for you in the description box. And I do and I do want to take a moment to invite you over to our Facebook group, Franny's Hair, on where we now have over 3,200 members and you know, the, we show pictures, we ask questions. It's a great place. We the ladies are really nice and I am in there every day, seven days a week and I go in and I answer questions. So if you have a wig question and you're a member over there, you know that you could ask anything and I'll answer. The other admins will answer as well as the members. We also show our pictures of our hair. So of course, just please be sure to answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules and I'll go ahead and I'll approve your membership. All right, let's, uh, uh, right now I'm wearing Lux Sleek by Renee of Paris and this one is in the color Milky Opal R. Isn't that pretty? I really like this style. Anyway, let's take a look at Sophia. Sophia has heat friendly fibers and I really wanted to review it because it's got such a great price point. It is under $200. So I thought, oh my gosh, that is a great price. And it looks so pretty. So when Franny offered to send it to me, I said yes. And I, I don't believe I've ever reviewed Melted Marshmallow, but don't quote me on that because I may not be remembering correctly. I think I have over 400 videos which means I, I probably have reviewed over 500 wigs because, you know, I do a lot where we put, I put them all in in the same video. I can't remember all the colors I've reviewed. Tightening the adjusters a little bit because I believe this is going, these run a little bit on the, you know, true average. All right, let me show you what we've got here. We've got an extended lace front a left mono part. I'm not feeling any permatease to the right of the left hand part. We have felt covered ear tabs. We don't have an extended nape, but we do have Velcro adjusters. And we do have a good amount of stretch to the cap. I'll let you know how it fits my 21 and a half inch circumference. Yep, it definitely fits uh, a true average 22 inch, 22 and a half even, because I really cinched it in. I'm going to spray some water. Unlike the milky opal that I just, that I was just wearing, where we have a, a pretty light root, on melted marshmallow, we have a darker root. It says that it's a dark blonde. I don't see that as a dark blonde. I see that as a, as a golden brown and I'll show you the lace front. There's going to be some knotting on here because of the dark root. You don't have a very wide lace, but it melts in nicely. But like you, as you can see, there is some knotting on there. Let's take a look at the part. Okay, the part is done nicely as well. Add a little bit more water. To really separate those fibers. I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray for the flyaways. Okay, and we don't have any permatees. I would say the density is an average density. Sophia weighs four point through up. 4.03 ounces. I'll show you the coverage. Great coverage. Here's the ear tab and my very low hairline. The fibers, I think Renee of Paris is really upping their game with the fibers. These feel beautiful. They feel wispy. They feel light. 
We don't have that abundance of permatease as we used to have in the past. And because these are heat friendly fibers, we could straighten it a little bit more or we could add some curls to it. Stay, it's not a face flopper, at least not this sample. The measurements on Sophia, we have a fringe that, that, that goes from six and a half inches to nine and a half inches. So here we have it, six and a half to nine and a half. The crown is 10 and a half to 12 and a half, and the nape is nine and a half inches. Really, really pretty piece. With, and it seems to have a lower density towards the bottom. So you're not going to have a lot of hair sticking up here. And I think it's done beautifully. Very, very nice. The only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with is with the color because of the knotting. But if you like a dark root, I like a dark root. And what I just do is I just apply a little bit of powder on the knotting. It probably... I mean, nobody asks me for my opinion, but I would have probably taken some of the blonde and I would have blended it in with the with the with the uh, brown on the on the front to kind of break up that knotting. But like I said, nobody asked me, and it goes in right through. Look at that, how pretty! Of course, if you like rooted color, this is one of the top colors in Renee of Paris melted marshmallow we have a this is their description dark blonde that melts into a warm into warm toffee tones and that comes down to a coconut ash blonde at the tips so it really transitions from that dark blonde which i see as a golden brown to that toffee all blended in them with the coconut ash at the at the very tips. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. With the headband, you could wear it with the headband. You could wear it with the ponytail. I think it has the length for it. I would just leave some fibers on the front. You can see it's a very thin ponytail because the density is very light at the bottom, but we could make a, a low ponytail. I think we could also do a half up and half down. Could even add uh, some curls right where we do the half up and half down and just have some cascading curls coming down. I think it's really pretty. It has a nice length where we have a lot of options for different styles. I think it's very pretty. I think uh, Renee of Paris did a great job. Let me know what you think. Is this, some, is this a style that you would wear? What do you think about the color? Is Melted Marshmallow one of the colors that you wear? I love to hear from you. Thank you once again to Franny's Hair for providing Sophia for me so I could review it. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.